Okay, so this lecture covers uh, what's known as concentrations of solutions. So if you're working with solutions, then then one thing that you always has to have to know is what is its concentration so that you can calculate how much of a solution that you might need to add, or you can do the calculations needed to know how to prepare the solution to begin with. Um, so chemists use several ways to um, report concentration, some ways that you might be familiar with. Um, for example, um, if you bought rubbing alcohol in the store, um, it's you could buy 70% rubbing alcohol, for example. So what, what does that mean? Uh, so if it's reported like that as a percentage, then, then it's probably a volume. It's probably a volume to volume ratio. So that would mean 70 mils of the alcohol and 100 mils of solution. So that would be 30 mils of water and 70 mils of alcohol. So percentage, volume to volume percentage is one way to measure concentration. And you could see this in lots of places if you just went through the grocery store aisles. For example, if you might, you might find juice, uh, maybe it's 10%, um, maybe something like beer or alcohol, maybe it's anywhere from five to, 12% alcohol, so the rest would be water. <clears throat> um, but this is not the way that chemists usually report concentration. Chemists usually use usually use what's known as molarity uh, to report concentration. You know, so what is a molarity? So it's given the symbol capital M, and it's equal to the moles. Of solute over the total liters over one liter of solution so that would mean the solute plus the solvent would be the solution right so the solute whatever it is that you're dissolving plus the solvent whatever it is that you're dissolving dissolving it in that would be the solution okay so if we take some examples so if you take uh, 9.12 grams of potassium bromide <clears throat> uh, dissolved and enough H2O to make 500 mils of solution, then what's the concentration of molarity? Okay, so whenever you see molarity, or capital M, you should immediately think in terms of moles per liter. You should think about what the actual unit is. It's moles over liters. So that, that way helps you set up the dimensional analysis. <clears throat> so if you have 9.12 grams of KBR, since that's the solute, then you're gonna need to convert that to moles of KBR. And the liters of solution is given in, in this case. It's 500 mils, so 500 mils. So you would need to convert that to liters. So that would be 0 0.500 liters. Okay, so to calculate the concentration, then the first thing you need to do is convert the 9.12 grams of potassium bromide to moles. So if you remember how to do that from previous chapters, if you want to convert grams to moles, um, then you need you need the molar mass of KBR. So if you remember how to calculate the molar mass, you would use your periodic table, right? Look up the molar mass of potassium. And I don't have a periodic table here. The total molar mass is 119.0 grams per mole. So look up the molar mass of potassium, look up the molar mass of bromine, add them t together, and you get 119 grams per mole. So now we can convert uh, 9.12 grams of KBR. So if we set up a dimensional analysis, since grams is on top, then we need 
grams on bottom, so we have to take the inverse of the molar mass. So one mole of KBR and 119 grams of KBR. And if you calculate that out, then that's 0 0.0766 moles. So now you can calculate the molarity. So take the 0 0.0766 moles, divided by the liters of solution. So it's 0 .0, 0 0.50 liters. So that would be 0 0.153 molar moles of KBR over one liter solution. Or that would be the same thing as 0 0.153 molar KBR, which may be reported like that sometimes, or just capital M. And you have to recognize that means molar. molar. <clears throat> okay, so how would you actually prepare this solution in the lab? Uh, well, so what you would need to do, of course, is you need to you need a balance. So put a flask on the scale, tar it, zero it out, and then add 9.12 grams of KBR. So weigh out your 9.12 grams. <clears throat> and so then what do you do? So now you got 9.12 grams of KBR in a beaker, for example. So if you wanted to prepare, prepare this in lab, what would you do? Would you add, so we said 500 mils. So if you added 500 mils, would that give you a 0.153 molar solution? And the answer is no. This is not how you would prepare it in lab. And the reason why, so your total volume needs to be 500 mils. So if you prepared it this way, then your total volume is gonna be a little bit more than 500 mils because KBR occupies some volume. So the way you would prepare this in lab instead is you would use a flask that looks like this. Uh, called a volumetric flask. That's got a mark on it for 500 mils. So it's very precise. It's, it's, um, it's machined so that the volume is very accurate if you add add water or whatever the solvent is to that mark, it's going to be exactly 500 mils of content. So you would take the 9.12 grams of KBR, add it into the flask, and then what you would do is add H2O to the mark. So once your volume hit 500 mils, stop adding the water, and now that's a 0.153 molar solution of KBR. So that's how we'd actually prepare it in lab. <clears throat> okay, so you may be uh, you may have to walk, walk the opposite way as well. So let's say you had a 0 0.250 molar solution of KBR, um, and you wanted to do a reaction. say a reaction needs um, 0 0.112 moles of KBR, then how much of this solution should you add? Okay, so if you need point 0.1, so what you have is a, a flask of KBR in water and it's 0 0.250 molar so you've prepared this somebody's prepared this at some point 
and you need to do a reaction, but you only need to add 0.112 moles of KBr. So how much of this solution do you need to draw out and put into your reaction so that you can deliver 0.112 moles? Okay, so to work through that math. So again, anytime you see the capital M, convert that to 0 0.250 moles per liter so that you have the units so that you can set up your dimensional analysis and cancel units out. So if we set up a dimensional analysis, so let's see. Oh, let's start it this way instead. So we need 0.112 moles of KBr. And since moles is on top, and then if we take our molarity, since moles is on top there, we need to invert it. So this is basically a conversion factor. So molarity is basically just a conversion factor to convert uh, between moles and volume, volume of solution. So since 0.112 moles KBR is on top, then we need the 0 0.250 mole of KBR on bottom so that that can cancel and then one liter of solution. So if we just take the 0.112 divided by 0 0.250 Then you need 0.448 liters of solution or 448 mils of that solution. So then if you took a pipette or whatever and you pipetted out 448 mils of the solution, it would have uh, 0.112 moles of KBR in it. So basically you need to be able to work between grams, convert grams to molarity, um, or work backwards, convert molarity back to volume, or you can convert um, back to grams, and so forth. So you should be able to work both ways. Okay, so once you have a solution, um, once you have a yeah, solution, then one thing that you often have to do is dilutions. So if you have a concentrated solution, maybe you need to make a more dilute solution from it. Okay, so we have 500 mils. So if we take the 500 mils of the 0 0.153 molar solution that we prepared. So this is what we have. And let's say we need 250 mils of a 0 0.080 molar solution of KBR. Then how can we use the more concentrated solution to make the more dilute solution? Okay, so this, the math for this is real simple, real simple calculation. It's M1V1 equals M2V2. So M1 is your initial molarity. V1, uh, let's see, M2 is your final molarity. V2 is the final volume. So basically what we're wanting to calculate in this example is how many mils of the more concentrated solution do we need to add to the more dilute flask So figure out how many mils of the more concentrated solution and we need to pipe that out and pipe that into the other solution. And then once we have that in there, then we can add we 
can add water to the 250 mil mark on the volumetric flask or whatever the solvent is. So in this case, V1 then is It's the volume that we're going to dilute. Right? It's, it's not the not the 500 mils that we started with. It's the 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 amount that we're going to need to transfer out and in, into the other flask. Okay, so that's basically the unknown in this calculation. So that's what we want to solve for. So we have um, 0 0.153 mole per liter solution to begin with. Um, X liters is what we're going to transfer. And we want to make a 0 0.08 molar solution. And we want to make 250 mils of it. So 0.25 liters. So now you just need to solve for X. So we'll divide both sides by the 0.153. All right, and then your moles per liter on top cancels moles per liter on bottoms. So your final unit is liters. Uh, which is a volume, which is what you wanted. So that gives you 0 0.131 liters or 131 milliliters. Okay, so what you would need to do is you would need to take a pipette pipette out 131 milliliters from the concentrated solution, pipette it into the volumetric flask for the dilute solution that you're going to make. And then once you have that 131 mils in, then you would need to add water to the 250 mil mark. And then you would have a 0 0.08 molar solution. So anytime you need to do a dilution, just remember that equation in one V1 equals M2 V2. Okay.